mind you keep your mobile phone on silent mode do not talk about taboo topics such as sex politics and religion tiny sit in silent atmosphere it's actually very clear here what speaker is speaking if there's any message be passed on by kindly use the chat box below and kindly please 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 be on mute until and unless you are your turn to speak at that moment unmute yourself and then you may proceed to speak and i think i pretty much covered the golden rules and i had over the control to our presiding of the toast master go initially over thank you toast master aishwarya we have a quote you only grow by coming to the end of something and by beginning something else on this note i would like to open meeting number 734 this it's time for uh, new excom to be installed and all those stuffs we had a great term for the last past 6 months and it's time for the new excom to take over for the next 6 months and make ctm grow more and more for this we have installation to be done by our very own area director toastmaster nadira faiz and we also have lots of surprises events lined up today and also we have a educational session by one of our uh, charter member distinguished toastmaster neena jong now moving on to the first session which is uh, induction so nadira this person uh, is someone very very special to me the day she joined i was with her throughout the journey from the day she joined so i've seen her grow from scratch to be frank so she has grown as a speaker and now she has taken up this new leadership role as a area director i wish her best of luck so on this note i would like to hand the hand over the control to our new area director toastmaster nadira faiz over to you nadira thank you so much toastmaster bhuvaneshwari before i proceed to the formal part of the event as a member of ctm my home club it gives me a lot of honor and i have to thank each and every one of you for the position i sit in so so can the presiding officer kindly let me know if all the uh, previous excom members are in the meeting today uh, i think except for uh, our pr everyone is present thank you at this time so before i get to it i would like to inform all the uh, members at any given point of time the new excom the old excom or the members when being addressed kindly only then unmute yourselves and respond thank you at this time you are discharged from all the duties and responsibilities thank you all for the beautiful service that you extended to chennai toastmasters club can we all have a huge round of applause for our outgoing excom january to july 2020 thank you i'm here to install the new excom members of chennai toastmasters club briefly state their key responsibilities and to remind them of the challenges that lie ahead their collective challenge is to make this club one of the best in chennai toastmasters international this will involve helping the members achieve their goals as well as leading the club to president distinguished club status this year so each officer is obligated to attend monthly club executive committee meetings attend the club officer training held twice a year prepare successor for his or her respective office i will now describe the challenges and the key responsibilities of each of the officers beginning with the sergeant at arms one second yes thank you so toastmaster abirami as the sergeant at arms you are responsible to arrange the meeting location maintain club equipment in order ensure adequate club supplies are available set up the room before the meeting starts make all the relevant educational and pr materials to be displayed attend to special equipment needs greet the guests and help the president make sure that the meeting starts on time toastmaster abirami will you perform these duties to the best of your ability yes toastmaster nadira thank you toastmaster aniruddha as the treasurer you will keep the financial records and prepare the club budget announce when time when it's time for members to pay their dues 
explain the due structure to the members, collect the dues, work with the secretary to ensure the club submits dues promptly on time to Toastmaster International World Headquarters. Toastmaster Aniruddha, will you perform these duties to the best of your abilities? Toastmaster Aniruddha? Okay, I believe Toastmaster Aniruddha is not here. So keeping that in mind, we'll move on to the next person. Toastmaster Rekha, as the secretary, you will maintain an accurate membership roster and attendance. You will submit the new club officer list to Toastmaster International by June Work with treasurer to ensure that the new member applications and dues get to Toastmaster International World Headquarters as soon as possible. Work with the treasurer to submit your club renewal dues to Toastmaster International on time. Provide the club with the minutes of the meeting, every meeting. Toastmaster Rekha, will you perform these duties to the best of your abilities? Yes, I will. Thank you. Toastmaster Aishwarya, as the Vice President of Public Relations, you attract visitors to the club through free publicity. Use a variety of means to promote the club in the community. Enlist your fellow club members in public relation activities, providing them with promotional materials and help in the ideas for inviting guests. You regularly recognize member achievements with methods such as announcements, newsletters, emails, and articles that you submit for the newsletter. Toastmaster Aishwarya, will you perform these duties to the best of your abilities? Yes, Toastmaster Nadira. Thank you. Toastmaster Abhilash, as the Vice President of Membership, you lead the club's membership building efforts to achieve the membership goals of eight new members. While the VPPR motivates people to visit your club, you motivate the current members to invite guests. You promptly give the new member applications and the dues to the secretary and the treasurer. You personally greet the guests, provide them with guest packets, including a membership application. Make sure each guest hears about the benefits of Toastmasters and gets a personal invite to become a member. Represent your club at area council meetings. Toastmaster Abhilash, will you perform these duties to the best of your abilities? Yes, Toastmaster Nadira, I will. Thank you. Toastmaster Ranju, as the Vice President of Education, you gain commitments from the members to set their educational goals. Assure the club members are aware of the schedule of the meeting roles, plan meetings, that will assist the members in meeting their goals. Work with the club members to keep meetings fun and well run. Work with your members to ensure that they submit the applications for educational awards promptly. Provide educational speakers at club meetings, such as those from successful club series and better speaker series. Represent your club at the area council meetings. As the second highest ranking officer, you will preside over the meetings when the president is absent. Toastmaster Manju, Will you perform these duties to the best of your ability? Yes, Toastmaster Nadira. Thank you. Toastmaster Guruvayur, as the president of Chennai Toastmasters Club, you are the chief of the office. Thus, you will be presiding at the all club meetings and all meetings of the XCOM as well. It is your challenge to see that the club adds new members and meets the current members to achieve their communication and leadership goals. Establish a club climate that's supportive, stimulating, rewarding to its members. Realize that you have sources available to you, such as the fellow club members, your club officer's team, club officer's handbook, you have the area director, division director, all the district officers of D120, as well as the District 120 website. Toastmaster Dubai Rappan, in front of you, the gavel is a symbol of authority that the club has vested within you during your time of uh, office. I'm confident that you will use it wisely and with restraint. Toastmaster Guruvayur Rappan, as a member of Chennai Toastmasters Club, as well as its leader, will you work with your executive committee and club members to make Chennai Toastmasters Club a President Distinguished Club this year? Yes, I will. Thank you. Chennai Toastmasters um, members, so at this moment, your officer team has just served this club to the best of their ability. 
to be the best Toastmaster club possible and to meet the needs of all its members, your club requires your active participation from each and every member. To you, as members, work with your officer team to make Chennai Toastmasters Club the finest Toastmasters Club it can possibly be. Members, you can mute yourself and Yes, we will. Yes, Nadir. Yes, Toastmaster Nadir. Yes, Toastmaster. We will. By the authority vested in me as your area director, it's my sincere pleasure to declare these Toastmaster officers instilled in their respective offices. So, can we have a huge round of applause, please? Please join me. Please join me in extending a warm welcome to Chennai Toastmasters Club Executive Committee for July to December 2020. Thank you all. So let us hear from our uh, presiding officer, Toastmaster Guruvayurappan. So Toastmaster Guruvayurappan, the stage is yours. Hello, dear Toastmasters, and from dear area director and future and present Toastmasters. This is Guruvayurappan welcoming you all for 734th meeting. First of all, let me congratulate the outgoing XCOM uh, team for the brilliant contribution and significant contribution and achievements during that term. So please give a big round of applause for them. Oh, it, I am thrilled and honored to stand in front of you as a president of one of the light of one of the best sir. clubs in Cosmos International. Other sir. Yes. Yes, did anybody said anything? Hmm. It gives me immense pleasure and a honor. I'm honored. I'm honored to be president of the one of the most prestigious clubs in uh, District 120, Chennai Toastmaster Club. So it is due to the commitments and the other uh, legacies created by the past president that CTM is standing where we are now. So as a Toastmaster, we have a mission for both all of us. The mission is to le learn to lead, learn to speak, and speak in order to lead. So in order to achieve all these three, let's grow together and let's uh, support uh, for the so let's support the ex present SCOM team so that the club grows in all aspects and achieves the president distinguished status as told by area director. So without much ado, I hand over control to the Toastmaster of the day. Uh, Geeta Shroff, who is a passionate Toastmaster. Uh, hello, did anybody say anything? I hand over control to Toastmaster of the day, Geeta Shroff, who is a very passionate Toastmaster, who is always keen on improving his com uh, communication skills. So I hand over to Tia Modi, Geeta Shroff, please, and uh, please take over. Geeta? Thank you, Toastmaster. Thank you, Toastmaster Gurvai Rappan. First and foremost, I would like to congratulate the incoming XCOM team. So wish you all a great success. All the best to you all. I also uh, wish hearty congratulations to the outgoing team. They have done a wonderful job. Thank you very much for taking the CTM to greater heights. So coming to my role as CMOD, Friends, I would like to uh, talk about the gender inequality. So sexism is a prejudice or discrimination that is based on gender. Both men and women are affected by sexism, but primarily it is the women who are affected the most. Last week, Congress leader Jitu Pawari took it on himself to rub the harsh reality by saying five daughters were being birthed, had been birthed in pursuit of a male child. By saying so, he meant demonetization, DST, inflation, unemployment, and economic um, slowdown had been delivered while waiting for, while the wait for economic, well de economic development or well-being was on. So his 
case against modi government may be defensible but the words that he chose to put it across is certainly not by his choice of words he has not only when lent oxygen to the pre existing preference for sun but also he has added a new poison into the cultural vocabulary so this is his innovation that economic evils are feminine and economic development is masculine this clearly shows us that how much sexism is embedded deeply in our culture so we will know more about it in the due course of our meeting as coming to the meeting part let me tell you we are going to have prepared speech section we are going to have a table topic section followed by evaluation so we are also having a wonderful game section which will be hosted by the toastmaster chandini and we are also lined in for a beautiful educational session i'm sure it's going to be amazing by our dtm meena john so as i hand over the control to toastmaster chandini let me tell tell you all a few words about her toastmaster chandini is a very passionate toastmaster and a dentist by profession i'm sure you're going to enjoy the game session which will be conducted by her over to you toastmaster chandini thank you toastmaster geeta good evening toastmasters and guests hope you all are having a great sunday and keeping well and safe at home let me share the screen for you all now so here it is the word masters so speaking of this session uh, as you all can see look at the picture this is how the games are going to be so you have a word search puzzle a crossword then a few jumbled words and then finding out the hidden words from the sentences and a figure of speech that is completely based on similes alone so most of these games are going to be related to toastmasters only and not much on any general topics also note the session is open to everybody and anyone can participate so i request you all to unmute yourself to make this a more interactive session so here we go with our first word puzzle so this is the word search puzzle for you all you have to find out the nine hidden club role players in this first so, line grammarian yeah joke master joke master Jack above Jack that are counter grammarian grammarian huh um are counter first one is master General Manager, Timer, Timer. Do it in the last last column. Timer is the uh, table topics. Yeah, you all can mark it also. Oh, we can table so topic can. the last. You all can mark. Okay, so table the, topics was there. Table topic was table topic. Topics uh, was there. Is there? Yes. Greater in the last column. Greater in the last column. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so one, two, three more. Uh, two more. Um, okay, so there's a court master. Okay, can anyone yeah. find TMOD anywhere? TMOD is not a word. Ah, <laughs> uh, it's still a role player. Yeah, it's. <laughs> That's cheating by table topics. It's right. Uh, topics T O P I C, right? So ah, yes, next like, one is oh. table topics. Yes. Yeah, yeah exactly. Okay. So T M O D come a little lower down. Yeah. 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 There's T M O D. So that's the first game. Okay. So now we'll move on to the next game. So here's a list of five jumbled words, and you just have to unscramble them. Any guesses for the first one? Presentation of first string. Okay. Innovation planning. Innovative planning. Yes. Re relationship. Uh, 
this is relationship uh, that's development that's the last one right development is the last one yeah mm-hmm. okay fourth one is persuasive persuasive influence leadership leadership development yeah persuasive exactly. influence and then uh, third third is fifth is leadership development yeah third the third is, is strategic relationship yes exactly some relationship yeah, so those are all based on the pathways strategic relationship strategic relationship yes yeah so this got over really soon than expected okay now we are all one, so here there are five sentences and in each sentence there's a name of one club member hidden so any guesses for the name of the first, first sentence venu first one venu second one nadira <laughs> wow go guru wow, you're amazing third one Geeta uh, Geeta third one Sangeeta Geeta is there uh yes oh, Geeta Sangeeta and Mehendi so Sangeeta is one? there Cholan Cholan is there wow. yes okay wow. and Ranju <laughs> yes perfect hey guru sai var guru okay Okay so here's the crossword puzzle. So first one it only seems too long but it's too easy. Any guesses? Chennai Toastmasters. Chennai Toastmasters. Yeah. <laughs> Pardon my handwriting. Humorous contest. Humorous contest. Perfect. Treasurer Yes, two down is treasurer. Gavel, or uh, seventh one. No, uh, speech nine, craft. Nine yeah. president. Three down is speech craft. President. Tenth one is gavel. Eight the secretary. Eight, eight is mentor. Eight is mentor. Mentor. Yes. Seventh is gavel. Third one is guest. Guest. Third yes. one. Tenth one is secretary. Yes. Member. yes. Member. Okay. So. Okay. Eight, All done. Sixth one. All done. Which is six? Six. Speech craft. Speech craft. Speech craft. Speech craft. Speech craft. Speech yeah. Craft. Okay. So that was again easy. And the eighth one eighth is mentor. Eighth one, I think it's mentor. Mentor. Yeah. Exactly. Eighth one is mentor. What's the second one? Uh. Second one, I think they guessed it. New, 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 As slippery as a eel, eel. As, as hungry as, as, as a bear, yeah. as timid as, as a rabbit. Yeah. Neither man is the winner, I think. Yes, absolutely. And Guru sir was awesome too. Yeah, Guru is very good at this. Yes. So, so good. We've come to the end of this session. Okay, so we've come to the end. Hi, Chandni. Chandni, you're on mute. Okay, sorry. Yeah. At this juncture, for the purpose of learning, I would like to introduce a French word to you all called "merci," which means "thank you" in English. So I would like to thank you all for being such an amazing audience. Absolutely enjoyed hosting this session, and hope you all had a great time too. So I now hand over the control to the TM Modi. Mercy. Yeah, mercy. Uh, Thank you, Toastmaster Chandni. 
it was a wonderful session the games games were all very good brain stimulating and uh, probably most of us who were sleeping have been woken up thank you so much so come as we were talking about sexism let me say few more points about it home is where the heart is similarly home is a place where the differences based on gender expectations and gender stereotypes are passed on to the children for instance boys are associated with color blue and they are given cars toys and guns to play with whereas girls are associated with color pink and they are given soft toys kitchen sets and dolls to play with boys are expected to be tough and strong girls are expected to be caring and nurturing boys are allowed to go out and do the errands outside whereas girls are asked to do household chores so probably these differences in bringing up the children have a lot of negative impact on the children so the impact is such that the girls are led to believe that they are weaker than boys and boys and coming to the men they have false imperfect uh, uh, false understanding about themselves false perception about themselves so as we know more about it we'll know, we'll know more about it in the upcoming meeting but in the proceeds of the meeting as of now we'll pass move on to the prepared speech section so our first prepared speaker is toastmaster sarath toastmaster sarath he he's a pg no before calling upon the speakers let me introduce to you the general evaluator general evaluator for today is toastmaster kritika she is pursuing her post graduates in human resources and she is also the outgoing uh, vp membership over to you toastmaster kritika to brief your responsibilities as the general evaluator for today's meeting thank you toastmaster geeta as the general evaluator my responsibility is to oversee the proceedings of the meeting in order to assist me i have two sets of teams the first is the tag team and the second is the speech evaluators the tag team consists of the timer our counter and the grammarian the timer toastmaster gautam tells me that the paradigm shift that he is undergoing currently is from a working environment Indian Institute of Management. Over to you, Toastmaster Gautam. Yes, thank you, Toastmaster Kritika, for that uh, wonderful introduction. So let me share share a small story which happened to me before this lockdown. So on February thirtieth, February twenty eighth, I was attending this interview for IIM Bangalore, and unfortunately, I reached the venue by. Five minutes late because from I had to uh, report at my work for night shift and then I began to Bangalore and then reach Bangalore by morning six a.m. and then I have to get ready and then I have to reach the uh, interview venue. So because of that, I was five minutes late and since I didn't uh, reach the venue by time, I was rejected from this. Uh, Entire interview process, and I was rejected on spot. That all my two years of hard work went in vain. So timing is that much important, and punctuality is very very important to follow in our lives. And today, as a timer, I will be uh, noting down the time taken by each and every speaker, and I will be reporting at the end of the meeting when the G calls out. More to the general evaluator. Thank you. Sorry, the art counter Toastmaster Jimmy states that his perspective of the outside food will now be different, owing to the overusage of spices, salts, oil, and to increase the cravings of the customers. This paradigm shift is because he has learned to cook many tasty recipes at home itself. Over to you, Toastmaster Jimmy.
Thank you, uh, General Evaluator. Uh, good evening, fellow Toastmasters and guests. As an art counter, uh, my responsibility is to keep a count on uh, the filler words, the sounds, unnecessary sounds and repetitive words used by each speaker. These are the factors that influence the impact, impact of your speeches. So at the end of the meeting, when called upon by the General Evaluator, I'll submit my report. Thank you and over to you, uh, General Evaluator. The next part of the tag team is the grammarian. Our grammarian, Toastmaster Aishwarya, states that there has been a paradigm shift in her personality from being somebody who used to overthink and worry a lot to, somebody, to becoming a more strong individual over time. Over to you, grammarian, Toastmaster Aishwarya. Thank you, Toastmaster Kritika. Good evening, fellow Toastmasters and guests. As a grammarian, I have two responsibilities. The first responsibility is to introduce the word of the day. The word of the day is customization, meaning a change to the way that something looks or works so that it is exactly what you want or need. An example for this would be clothing makers see mass customization as a promising way to reduce weight. And my second responsibility is to make you make note of the good usages of English and also the not so good in usages. And when called upon by general evaluator in the end of the meeting, I'll be presenting my report. Thank you. Over to you, G. Thank you, Toastmaster Aishwarya. I will be introducing the speech evaluators in the later part of the meeting. For now, I hand over the control back to the Toastmaster of the day, Toastmaster Geeta. Thank you, Toastmaster Kritika. So friends, I would like to remind you all of the phrases that we commonly use, the phrases that are sexist, but those phrases are so common that we don't even realize that they are sexist. And the kind we don't try to understand the impact that it has on our children. For example, let me give you some example phrases. Boys up, man up, boys will be boys. Big boys don't cry. Don't throw like a girl. Don't be so girly. I'm sure you'll be able to come out with more phrases like this. So when we talk, tell our children the, these kind of phrases, we are leading our children to believe that girls are weaker than boys. And the boys are led to believe that it is a sign of weakness to express uh, your emotions. So let us make a paradigm shift and move away from these kinds of expressions. Be conscious of what we are telling our children so that, you know, we can bring about uh, uh, our children in a very equal, uh, equal manner, which means you can throw a ball badly. You can throw a ball well, but you cannot throw a ball like a girl. We now move on to the next session, that is our prepared speech section. So we have two speak amazing speakers who will be speaking today. Our first speaker is Toastmaster Sharath. Toastmaster Sharath is a postgraduate research scholar at IIT Madras. And his hobbies are doing exercise and reading books. So before I call upon Toastmaster Sharath, I call upon his evaluator, Toastmaster Abhirami, to brief her responsibilities to read out the speech objective. Yeah, thank you, Tia Muri. Good evening, fellow Toastmasters and guests. Uh, Toastmaster Sharath will be delivering his speech under Pathways Presentation Mastery, Level 1, Project 2, Evaluation and Feedback. Uh, the speech objectives are to deliver a speech in any topic, to get a feedback and to apply the feedback in his next speech. Timer, please note that the time limit is five to seven minutes. All the best, Toastmaster Sharad. Over to you, Tia Muri. Toast Toastmaster Sharad, a perfect recipe during lockdown. A perfect recipe during lockdown, Toastmaster Sharad. Am I audible? Can you check? Am I audible? Yes, you are. Yeah, thank you. A beetroot, a raw egg, 
and a packet of rasam masala somebody may be thinking is he going to prepare some recipe to stay strong physically during this lockdown well the answer is partly yes a recipe not to stay strong physically but to stay strong mentally it's very simple to take a boiling water and put everything in a boiling water beetroot and a boil egg and also add rasam masala into the boiling water and wait for few minutes toast master of the day my dear fellow toast masters and the guests who are confused whether you are in a toast master meeting or a cooking club meeting and all the people who are eagerly waiting for that recipe every day that we live on this earth we make lot of choices we make decisions that shapes and molds our life but do we put enough thought on how we react to things when they happen to us let me share a small incident which happened in my home recently we are three members in my home me my mother and my father we have our neighbor whose name is martin martin is a 75 year old person and martin cannot hear properly and he is a very short temperer and recently my mom planned to cook a recipe in lockdown period and the recipe name is inji puli curry it's a darkish sweet sour and spicy kerala curry and everything was planned and the cooking process started she was on the way and this created a lot of cooking fume in the home and every one of us was getting to coughing and exactly at this time our martin crossed our room in a moment he also got into coughing but suddenly he blown like a whistle of a pressure cooker with furious and angry tone he shouted lord these people are trying to kill me please save from these people and these words went into my mother's ears now to tell about my mother she is like a fragile glass if you give a little extra pressure you can easily break her and she broken down completely on hearing these words of martin and instantaneously she shouted at martin and martin went away simply and she came inside the room and shouted at two innocent people who are sitting that is me and my father for no reason and then she came back to the kitchen and she saw the milk she kept for boiling it was overflowing she forgot that in the tension and in a hurry she switched off the gas and she cleaned the milk with a lot of frustration and then she continued cooking the recipe of winji uh, puli curry and finally the recipe is ready now it's time to taste the yummy tasty winji puli recipe after having a small quantity in my mouth i asked my mom mom did you put extra salt and she replied hey idiot go and brush your teeth for you everything will be salty and then she herself tasted and she found it was not salty it was over salty and she realized that she put extra salt in the tension while cooking and later not only this the whole recipe got spoiled and it went into dustbin we couldn't taste even a single thing and all the events which occurred next to this made my mom depressed and sad and the whole day she was silently sitting without speaking to anyone now even though our inji puli recipe got spoiled i got a beautiful recipe for life from this incident what made the day of my mom goes bad is it the old man is it the over spoiled milk or is it the inji puli recipe or it is a reaction to the old man usually everyone will say the old man but if you do the small math the old man incident was just 10% of the whole happening and the old man's behavior is not in my mom's control what is in her control is how she reacted to the situation and if you observe it carefully all the consequences which happened because of how she reacted to her to the old man on that day the 90% of the happening was because of how she reacted to the old man this is how the things should be reacted happen in a right way uh, understanding that martin is a short temperer she might have told that 
sorry martin uh, we will finish it quickly and uh, without any resentment she might have uh, switched off uh, the overflowed milk and she might have continued cooking in her without any tension and she might have served us with a smile and i am saying wow the recipe is beautiful mom and tasty and she might have also given some recipe to our martin you see a small change in reaction change the entire event differently my dear friends in our life there are certain things which are not in our control our life our death our birth and death others behavior towards us the so called problems which we encounter in our life even this covid 19 coronavirus spread and lockdown extension nothing is in our control but they are just 10% of the whole happening the rest 90% is going to depend on how we are going to react to that 10% initially i put some ingredients in the same adversity of boiling water let's see what happened the beetroot initially was hard now becomes little soft the egg which was initially liquid now become solid inside but this rasam masala it was entirely different it changed the boiling water and it added fragrance and taste to the boiling water and it made a beautiful soup life is 10% what happens to us and 90% how we react how are we going to react to us master of the day over to you that was a wonderful speech toastmaster sharath a beautiful message indeed circumstances that happen to us are not under control but how we react to the circumstances are very much under our control so reaction is more important we now move on to our next speaker our next speaker is toastmaster venu he is a very experienced toastmaster so i will read out the merits that he has achieved recently he has completed his pathways mentorship program he has he has been awarded as the most enthusiastic uh, toastmaster of the year 2019 20 and he has also completed his presentation mastery project so before i call upon toastmaster venu to deliver his speech i call upon his evaluator toastmaster nagendra bati bharti to brief his speech objective over to you toastmaster nagendra bharti thank you dear modi geeta my target speaker toastmaster venu neelakanda is giving a speech taking up the project 9 of competent communication manual persuade with power the objectives of the speech are persuade listeners to adopt your new point or ideas or to take some action appeal to the audience interest use logic and emotion to support your position all the best to master bendu nilakanta thank you tmo deepa toastmaster venu nilakanta trapped trapped toastmaster venu nilakanta thank you tmod good evening one and all uh, let me ask two questions first uh, you might have answered many times to these questions first question is what makes the human the superior species on earth can anyone unmute and tell the answer going behind the money no no superior species on earth something cognitive ability cognitive ability yeah cognitive ability yeah cognitive, ability. Ability. Yeah. cognitive yeah. ability that intelligence the ability to think rationalize yes. things right yes. and the second question is what makes the lion the king of forest sir it is the attitude of the lion courage yeah attitude. courage attitude and many things but the main uh, it has many unique qualities one of the qualities i observed usually lions don't eat dead meat in usually they chase and hunt and they eat that's one of the unique quality of lion now just take an example of a um, zoo lion or a um, circus lion you just go to any zoo or circus where that lion is 
put under any cage or some restricted area with a fence. Within that restricted area, the lion has to have no chance to chase or hunt. So what they do, they feed the lions with dead meat, mostly dead dogs, cheaper. At the beginning, the lions are hesitant to eat the dead dogs, but without any option, they started eating the dead dogs, the dead meat. Slowly, it's accustomed to uh, uh, this lifestyle. Once it started living like this, the lion started feeling so comfortable because without chasing, without spending energy, they are getting food and they are living peacefully. No, it never bothers about whether it's losing its uh, the status of the king of forest or something, its majestic way, that's unique qualities. It never bothers. In real life, a group of people, I would call them mafia, wants us, the human species, just like the lion, the caged lion. This group consists of political leaders, religious leaders, terrorists, and corporate world. I'm not touching the political or religious or terrorist because being the tabu topic, I just going to touch only the corporate world. But enslaving a human is not so easy as um, taming a lion. So how to take, uh, tackle this human? How to control this human? They are using many psychological techniques to entrap us. Because as for the most, when you will raise your question, when you will be the threat to their authority, when you will be a danger for their power game, when you feel that your, your need is not fulfilled. For example, in the current scenario, in the current COVID pandemic, if you don't have food, money, or shelter, you will raise question. You question the authority and you will do some kind of agitation. So first, because that's why we call and necessity is the mother of invention. Not only mother of invention, it's the root cause for everything. So first they want to make you not to feel the necessity of your necessity. Your, the need of your need is curtailed before you feel your need. Bit confusing, right? As a human, it's not so easy. So first they will, um, want to fulfill your needs. As for the Maslow's, um, most of you know that, Maslow's uh, five hierarchy needs. The first need is physiological and second safety and third love and belongingness and fourth esteem and fifth is self-actualization. It is literally not possible to fulfill all the needs of a human for everyone. So they are using the psychological techniques or some kind of, after doing some profound research, they are manipulating our brain. For example, I would say, take one need. Human is vulnerable for social approval. You and I are uh, waiting for fame and name. That's the fourth need, that esteem. One hormone named dopamine is behind this need. They want to target this hormone because whenever you achieve something, this hormone makes you feel elate and excited. So they want to manipulate this hormone. They want to cheat the hormones through some techniques. Even though you actually don't achieve anything, they will make, they will make you feel that you achieve something. That's what social media is doing. When you are getting your Facebook likes, when you are seeing some um, uh, a response from your WhatsApp group when you're seeing that many, how many views in your YouTube. That's how make you feel that to achieve something, the fact is not. In the recent studies proves that the level of dopamine segregates, just seeing um, WhatsApp, uh, Facebook likes or Instagram, is as equal as the level of uh, dopamine segregates when you are achieving something or when you are achieving some medals. So, but both are totally different. And another technique they want is just, they want you keep us, keep you um, unfocused. 
many studies reveal that the current generation because of the social media and the other uh, apps they are suffering from attention deficit disorder it's a proven already proven now they want you deviate from your attention they just they don't want you focus on something how to do it let me give an example suppose if you want to know something about albert einstein you just google it and you are searching something you are reading about albert einstein after one hour totally far away from where you started now you are reading about sunny leone mindless scrolling and suppose you are, if you want to watch some videos of educational videos on nonverbal communication you start watching one video and after one and a half hours or two hours you are still watching videos but something else now you are watching some thing about nityananda but you started watching the nonverbal communication videos why because behind that this they are doing some techniques because the app designers are well aware of your mentality and your mind and your brain for example our mind human mind is uh, human mind responds to visual cues rather than the internal cues your internal cues say that when you are watching your videos the moment it's about to end your internal cues say that it's going to end but they knew that that's why they designed the app they will not give you any visual um indication that the video ends when you are watching a youtube video immediately there will be a suggestion before the video ends or that play next so you keep on watching without any conscious thought now you are under their control now they know who you are what's your weakness what's your strength what's your taste what's your what, what which food is your favorite food everything they know you are just a puppet so it's a high time now i request everyone at least use your brain because i state all the problems where is the solution the solution is the first answer to my my first question's answer the ability to think apply your brain ask everything question everything don't simply follow anyone don't be trapped so it's up to you whether you want to continue as the superior species on earth or just a puppet up to you or to you to smash of the day thank you thank you to master neela kandan that was a really amazing speech very informative as well so we could understand that how these app developers they manipulate us and keep us trapped so it is up to us to use our brains and try to come out of those such kind of situations instead of getting trapped that was really wonderful so before we move on to the next session i would like to know from the timer if both of our speakers have qualified timer can you please sir sir this uh, only those master sir this uh, qualified for uh, voting <laughs> okay so we have only toastmaster sarath so i don't think we'll go with a poll now so we move on to the next session which is a, a educational session by uh, our distinguished toastmaster nina john before that a few more words from me so coming to the sexism even our lang uh, sexism is embedded even in our language it's encoded in our language so it's this kind of a language when used it is very insulting even when we use it unconsciously so it is necessary to pay heed to what we are saying or what we are writing be conscious about it for example uh, most of the time the generic he his and him are used to uh, uh, represent the whole of human species for example no man's island but with taking special care we can avoid this generic term and make it gender inclusive so i give one example for you all to uh, solve it for me the example is man has always been driven by his desire for happiness i repeat man has always been driven by his desire for happiness how do we rephrase this sentence to make it gender inclusive anybody nobody humans humans uh, 
we can replace yeah. man by humans and he is a her by yeah. them okay so people have always been driven by their desire for happiness so that would be a better way of phrasing it so that it doesn't hurt anyone's feeling similarly we can take care to avoid the uh, stereotypes for example we have four men policeman and nailsman so how do we change these titles so that they they are neuter general for instance four men can become supervisor policeman we can, yeah tell me policeman can become you just have police right do you need to have police a... officer yeah cop and uh, mailsman can become a postal worker so this way you know we will not be hurting any gen anybody in particular so and it uh, basically using this kind of a language sexist language it also reflects about your thought process so it is bent- better to have your language to be gender inclusive so that it does not hurt the sentiments of the opposite sex so coming on to the next session moving on to the next session Deepya Meena John is going to give us a wonderful session. So we all know her very well, and she always motiv- motivates and inspires the expo members to bring out better changes so that we can really grow into greater heights. So over to you, Toastma Deepya Meena John. So the topic that she'll be covering is why Toastmasters during lockdown. Over to you, distinguished Toastmaster Meena John. Can you hear me? We can hear you, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes. All right. So, good evening, everyone, and welcome to the session on why Toastmasters during lockdown. One of the first questions that any kind of uh, VPE or VPM gets is, "This is lockdown period. You're having just meetings over Zoom." we are not meeting at a regular place we are not having vada and bhaji and all of those things there are no expenses why should i pay for renewal and what do i get out of toastmasters and this is really what i want you all to think about what is it about toastmasters that helps you during this particular phase and do you really need to have this kind of activity during lockdown the fact of the matter is when you attend a toastmasters meeting and all of us join for the same reason we learn how to speak when we learn how to speak it's more than just coming here and babbling in front of a mic it's also a question of how do we speak when do we speak how do we speak better that very act of drafting a speech when we collect all our thoughts when we collate them into a 5 minute or a 7 minute presentation it is an exercise in thinking it's an exercise in editing it requires so many different skills we need to understand what is the importance of having these skills now during lockdown one thing has happened across the world everybody has been driven into their homes and into communicating online so this very act of having a meeting teaches you how to interact and behave in a zoom or any kind of online meeting every one of us discovers that if you want to be there in a toastmasters meeting you need to be there 5 to 10 minutes earlier check your audio check your video and very unconsciously you imbibe all the professional meeting etiquette you learn to keep your video muted uh, your audio muted you learn to keep your video off if you want to walk around you learn so many different things in terms of how to behave you learn interaction from the others and by listening to the others you are building up that one very very vital vital skill of listening 
listening to others is more than just hearing them. We all do this when we, you know, in the days when we used to come back home, this is what we used to do. Even now you must be doing the same thing. The television is on 24 hours or your Netflix is on. Something is going on all the time, but unless your attention is focused on that, you are only hearing and not listening. You listen with your mind and you hear only with your ears. So when you start listening, you realize when you come to a Toastmasters meeting, you are actually focused on listening for an entire period of two hours. And during those two hours, you get to hear a variety of people. You get to hear a variety of interesting viewpoints. You get to hear a totally different perspective on something that you probably took for granted. I'm sure none of us will look at a beetroot or an egg again with exactly, with any lack of attention. Now, each time you look at that uh, rasam powder packet or uh, the egg, you're going to think of Sharad and what he said. It teaches you different viewpoints. Gita has been giving us what is an absolute paradigm shift about feminism, about the casual sexism that happens in our daily lives. And we take it so much for granted that we don't even think it is something to be objected about. So every meeting has something that gives you something new. It gives you something interesting. It gives you something diverse. As we move on to international meetings, you learn so much in terms of international culture. You learn so much in terms of international etiquette. You learn to understand different viewpoints, different cultures, different mannerisms of people across the world. Why is this important? Because today, recruiters are recruiting only over the net or online. Where earlier you could sit in a chair and when somebody asks you, tell me something about yourself, you could go on and tell him about how I was born here. Then I went there and this happened. And then I um, went to this college and I changed the college because of the HOD. This is what I did. You have no time for stories. When you attend Toastmasters, you learn with your table topics how to deliver crisp, clear presentations that are concise and comprehensive. The kind of thing that helps the other person immediately understand, oh, this is a person whose communication is good, whose communication is clear, whose communication is comprehensive. And how do you get to that point? Prepared speeches teach you what is relevant, what is required, and what is unnecessary. So when you're drafting a speech, you realize that this is the amount of material I have. As Venu said, you start researching for your topic and you have a ton of material, but how do you concise it? How do you make sure that you deliver only what is required? So learning the objective of why you are speaking, when you are speaking, how you get doing it. As a result, your professional communication skills improve. In this day and age where online courses are so ubiquitous and universal. This is also a time for you to realize Toastmasters is what will help you in upskilling your own domain expertise. It will help you in your career planning because today you come, oh, it's a great time. We're just going to sit around and we're going to do, I'm going to listen to a lot of speeches. Stop. Think, why are you here? If you are here to improve your own communication skills. What have you done in terms of planning your projects? What have you done in setting out goals for yourself? Set them out in Toastmasters, set them out elsewhere. Another very important thing that Toastmasters teaches you are the three steps of what I call becoming a leader. The first is followership. Learn to attend and be a follower. Learn to understand what are the principles, practices, philosophies of Toastmasters. And from there, you realize this is what it takes for me to become a member of an organization, association, a member of the community. Once you're a follower and then when you start contributing, that is when you are actually a great member. A contributory member raises and enhances the value of any organization that you are with. 
even with something as simple as your family relationships or your interpersonal relationships. What you learn in Toastmasters, you can always take back to your workplace, take back to your family place. Learn how to do that. Once you are a good member, that is the only time you can call yourself a leader. Because all of us want to be leaders, all of us want to be playing captains without people who play. This is what's happened with our cricket teams. This is what happens in our real life also. So learn to be a follower, a member, and then a leader. Exactly as Guru said, learn to speak, speak to learn, and learn to lead. Across the world, you can have leaders without communication, with, without communica but without communication skills, you cannot become a leader. You have so many people who are just speakers without leadership skills. Build up your leadership skills, build up your communication skills, and you can lead the world in any organization, on any level, anywhere and everywhere that you are. You will realize that in time, unless you put in the effort for yourself, you will not have either followers or leaders. Learning new skills. Toastmasters is one place that not only expects you to be a good speaker and a good leader, it expects creativity. Now look at the meeting we had today with Chantani coming up with the different kinds of word uh, games and other things. You realize that this is the kind of thing that helps you in your workplace also. Career counselors have realized that across the world, what are the skills that are required for the future? The first of these is creativity. How do you deliver across communities, across countries, across continents? Where is, how are you doing in terms of creativity? What are you doing that's new? For example, in Kerala, they realized people are stuck in their houses, students are stuck. How do we reach school children with their lessons? They've started WhatsApp uh, mobile classes. They've started telecasting on television. They've done all of these things. The world is looking for people with more creativity, and this is a critical thing that you will need. Most important, I'd like you to think, and I'm going to do a little screen sharing now, so you'll have to be a little patient with me, because I'm going to talk in terms of how do you exactly really, uh, unlock the creativity that you need for your vision. So you will realize that in terms of Zoom Master, do I have a, sh a screen sharing? Uh, no, ma'am. You are yet to share your screen. In fact, your video is off. Okay. Wait. All right, so what I was trying to say is in terms of what we require, you have to understand that, sorry, let me just get back to this. Yes, so my video is there and do I have screen sharing? Uh, you are yet to share, ma'am. Okay, have you got it now? Uh, no. Okay. Give me half a second again, sorry. I think I'm not able to get my uh, screen thing on, but basically all I wanted to say is during lockdown, all of us are thinking in terms of how does lockdown affect me and what can I do? But when you think in terms of lockdown, you will realize that Toastmasters is also the most powerful antidepressant that you can have. The very fact that you have people around you, the very fact that you have a systematic 
specific time to meet other people during this weekend makes a lot of difference. You'll find that when you come here, you imbibe the positivity that everybody else also has. You, everyone, go, and, and this is what I keep saying to everyone, the good test of a good club meeting is whether people leave with a smile on their faces. And the fact that nobody wants to leave the meeting is also a very good sign after the meeting is over. It helps you build up the kind of interpersonal relationships that you need in the long run to keep you emotionally stable and to help you build further relationships on a personal or a professional front. It helps you upskill in many, many different ways because as I said, something with as simple as learning to participate or host a Zoom meeting is something that you will learn from Toastmasters and nowhere else. Your horizons are widened, you get new opportunities, new talents, and above all, you learn so many things that will help you become a better person. And these are all the different things I think that will help every one of you in terms of whether you are going to become a better person or not. I also need now to check with the timer how much time I have. 40 minutes, ma'am. 40 minutes. 14 minutes. 40 minutes. One for 14 minutes. 14 minutes. Okay. Yeah. So these are some of the things that I said uh, thought would help you understand why Toastmasters is so important. See, Toastmasters teaches you, as I said, speaking skills, listening skills, creativity. All of these three are essential, critical skills for wherever you are working, whatever you're doing. When you join Toastmasters, you become a better speaker. And as uh, Guru said, it is a question of not only speaking, it's a question of speaking well, it's a question of speaking up, and it's a speaking, question of speaking out. By these three different things, I mean one, you learn how to speak and you re realize what is required. You learn what is required in terms of when do I speak up. As I said, when you become a member, you say, okay, I think this is what we should be doing, this is not what we should be doing. That contributory thing of agreeing, disagreeing, politely, professionally. These are things that you learn in Toastmasters, which you really need in your workplace. Learning to speak out. Yeru gave us an excellent example of how most of us are just brainwashed into doing whatever government authorities are telling us or doing whatever is uh, happening anywhere else, blindly obeying. But when you see something that is wrong, do you have the courage to assert yourself to open up and say, no, this is wrong and this is what I should not be doing. These are the things you need to consider. What are the issues you should talk about? How do we talk about them? And when you have a Toastmasters mindset, you're able to go into what is literally customization of the speech because you're saying, okay, I have only two minutes to answer this recruiter on the phone. I have only five minutes to give a description about myself. I have only five minutes to explain to the government officer why we are not having water in our flats or why this person is COVID negative, positive, whatever it is. This is what we need to do for our building. You learn to focus your speech. You learn to speak only what is relevant and what is required for the moment. So learning to speak is very important. So is listening. In some ways, yes, I'm saying this is what we do, but all of these that I've said, I think that we are speaking for ourselves. Many of us are just like cocooned in this particular way. What we also need to understand is how do we unlock ourselves and contribute to the community? There are so many different things today that are happening in so many news items about depression and suicide. If you're good at listening, speak up, talk to your friends, see if there's anything wrong, reach out to people, try to understand what is happening how are they doing things? Learn to contribute to the community. And writing speeches is again a, a facility that you will get only when you're with Toastmasters because you cannot create a speech just in your head. You have to write down whether it is key points, whether it is the entire script, whatever it is. That ability to write, the one that moves you from drafting speeches to crafting speeches. All of these are essential in your workplace. They're all essential in your family life. They're essential to our community. So I would say, please don't look at Toastmasters as an expense. 
Look at it as your personal IIM. By that I mean investment in myself. Because Toastmasters is an organization that believes in triple L, lifelong learning. When you are here, it doesn't matter how old or how young you are. You learn so much more. Keep learning, keep growing, and that's when you become a better person, when you contribute positively to your class, your community, and your country. And all of these, just by attending Toastmasters. So please don't tell me your Toastmasters subscription is a waste of time or attending Toastmasters meeting is a waste of time. Because I can tell you, I have benefited so much. And I know I'm able to give out and help others also benefit. So therefore, this is what I'm saying. Don't just worry about Toastmasters and how, what it is. Look at it in terms of unlocking your potential during this lockdown and further during the rest of your life. Back to you, Madam Toastmaster. Thank you, to, uh, DTM, ma'am. Thank you so Welcome. much. Welcome. So we, I thought we'll have just one question answer round. Maybe okay. we'll just take one minute if anybody wants to ask and clarify anything from DTM, ma'am. Ma yeah, absolutely. This is Toastmaster Anand from Paramount Toastmaster Club. I just Sorry. Yeah. Sorry, you can't hear you. Yeah, this is Toastmaster Anand from uh, Parambu Toastmasters Club. I yes. have a question to uh, Nina, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Uh, it's like uh, uh, it's like somehow I personally feel like this uh, Zoom meeting is not uh, as good as when I speak in the normal meeting. Uh, and somehow I feel like uh, we have uh, in office and everything we have Microsoft Teams and Zoom everything. And again on Saturday Sunday sitting for two hours. It's been somewhat uh, not. I, I'm not uh, personally. I'm not feeling so comfortable into it. What's your suggestion or take on it? Well, as far as uh, the COVID-19 uh, period is concerned, we have no alternative. So this is definitely the nearest we can have to a regular meeting. So uh, yes. Uh, the other thing is uh, when you have an office meeting, when you have any of the other meetings, you're tensed at a certain level. Whereas if you are uh, talking in terms of Toastmasters, you come here with no expectations. You have, you're prepared to have a good time. You're relaxed. You're able to give of your best and you're able to take in so much more. So it's very much like uh, what I would say, right brain, left brain activity, some relaxation. This is what we are doing it. Your alternative is to watch uh, uh, horror films on Netflix or anywhere else. So I think uh, this is a better alternative to uh, Netflix or uh, just office Zoom meetings. Ma'am, uh, one more uh, doubt. It's like uh, I, anyway, I need to sit in front of a system for two hours. So in this way, I can uh, rather than attending my club meeting, I uh, for uh, it's like a club speakers uh, speech. I could rather uh, YouTube and uh, international speaker speech and learn from it. I'm not entirely your choice, you. all right? Yeah, I'll, I'll no, 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 no. I, I'm saying it's entirely uh, your choice of how much uh, time you spread. See, listening to a world, uh, if you're having only world championship speaker speeches, that's one way of learning. That's fine. But uh, that's rather like uh, only running in the Olympics all the time. All right? You need to have a variety of uh, speakers to learn from because you can learn what to do. You can also learn what not to do. And that also, I think, is an important thing that you can get from just regular uh, interaction with uh, regular club meetings. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you so much. Welcome, Anu. Thanks. Any other questions? Yeah, that's fine, ma'am. I think... Thank you so much, Nina, ma'am. You're welcome. Yeah, we had a wonderful session. You'd not give us one reason or two reasons, but you have <laughs> given us many, many reasons to join Toastmasters. Thank, Thank you. you very much for a wonderful session. Thank you. So moving on to the before moving on to the next session, a couple of words from me. Coming to this Indian ads, they have reduced women to mere gender stereotypes, and they have st they have stigmatized women very badly. For instance, take the uh, fairness cream advertisements. 
so what they tell you is you need to be fair and lovely in order to be successful in life or for instance take this move ad which tells you that women are supposed to do all the household chores while men can sit and watch cricket non challengely and after that she is given a move so that she can get back to work again i am sure you can come out with more number of ads like this anyone any ad that's coming into your minds you can unmute yourself and tell yeah i think there is a soap ad which tells like women are expected to look young whatever be their age yeah or we have this mtr ad which tells you that you need six hands but you are supposed to do multitasking so that you can serve your family better like this you have many many ads for instance i despise the most is a snickers ad which tells it's uh, like there are so many ads like this but due to the time constraint let i move on so friends orthodoxy is an incurable disease so is patriarchy like nelson mandela once said freedom can't be achieved unless women are emancipated from all sorts of oppression so we have to raise a frontier against this frontier resistance against whatever is happening we are now we are moving on to the next session which is a table topic session so this session is going to be conducted by a very senior toastmaster toastmaster shrikant who is also serving in railways he is a mentor to many in our club and he motivates everyone and makes sure the club standards are high over to you toastmaster shrikant so we are all waiting for the amazing session that you are all that you are going to handle over to you thank you toastmaster of the day good afternoon everybody let me brief you about the table topic session a uh, table topic session is going to be actually a impromptu speaking session which means a topic would be given by me and you will have to speak for a for a minimum of 1 minute the total time limit given to any speaker is 2 minutes 30 seconds and the break up of this 2 minutes 30 seconds is as follows you have to speak for about 1 minute where a green card would be flashed on your screen when you complete 1 minute 30 seconds a yellow a amber card is flashed on your screen and when you complete 2 minutes the red card comes up after the red card you are given a grace time of 30 seconds you have to wind up your speech in order to be eligible to become a good i mean uh, to become a ct speaker eligible for voting to become the best ct speaker so 2 minutes 30 seconds is what is the time limit given for you at the most so within this time limit you have to speak topics are given at random and i would be calling usually the non role players to begin with and if there are not adequate non role players role players would be given a chance so this is all about table topic session and today's session is going to be basically on simple questions simple idioms and current situations that we are facing about so are we ready so to begin with i would like to call the secretary of our club toastmaster reka toastmaster reka are you with me yeah yeah i am there Here we yeah, go. There. What? Just a minute. See, they say the best protection any woman can have is courage. I repeat, the best protection any woman can have is courage. Do you agree with me, Toastmaster Rekha? Uh, yeah. Uh, thank you for giving this opportunity for me to be the first speaker. I But never expected to be the first speaker. but anyhow yes i do agree uh, that courage uh, is can you repeat the topic sorry i missed it wait for me to complete the best protection any women can have is courage yeah thank do you, you. Agree? and if you agree please tell us why do you agree with that topic yes so uh, the best protection for a women is courage so this is my topic yes i 100 percentage agree that uh, courage is the best uh, tool for a women why because see only when a women i would not define this only for women for any gender be it male or female uh, courage is the best tool for them to uh, manage a situation because see only when you are courageous your mind is not 
doesn't get lost in the situation you can think cool and you can try to get a solution when you do not have the courage then what happens you get tensed you are not able to think in a streamlined way where you you uh, like uh, instead of taking a wise uh, decision you end up taking an incorrect decision sometimes not able to take a decision also creates a problem so courage is the best uh, 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 tool i couldn't i couldn't recollect the exact words is the best way which or uh, uh, best mechanism for a woman or a male to uh, face a situation and to come out of any situation be it not just a uh, what to say mm. even in the day to day life i would say even to manage a general situation i would say courage is required where even if the situation the problem is not for me if it is for others also as a uh, like um, what to say uh, uh, any other human being who can stand up for another human being courage is very 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 important and thank you very much over to you thank you thank you toast master reka can we have bharat vijay please bharat vijay hello sir can you hear me yeah i can hear you here's your topic uh, bharat vijay if given a choice what would you choose and why health or wealth i repeat if given a choice what would you choose and why would you choose that health or wealth thank you toast master shrikar i would definitely choose health because it's very obvious without health you cannot manage your wealth i would say health is very important right from the uh, childhood till your uh, till your old age actually i mean uh, we 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 spend we spend a lot of time uh, in understanding who we are and we 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 do a lot of effort we take a lot of hard work in making sure that we uh, attain the status of wealth uh, it's it's not it's not easy at all but what is important what is key is like it is also we need to we need to also maintain our health uh, uh, which which is in fact uh, the the first priority for any human being right uh, so i would say like uh, I, i can give you like pretty very good examples like uh, uh, like even uh, uh, there's like ton of friends who are like uh, they are, i mean they are really they are, they are, they are, they, are, they are really in situated in a very high paying jobs they have very high high paying jobs but the thing is actually like they i mean uh, i would say like not only my friends said even i was doing like uh, say like eating all the foods from outside uh, everything like uh, Uh, outside food and that's basically like uh, it was which was deteriorating my health actually i would say like uh, maybe this lockdown uh, i see this lockdown as a very good chance to uh, uh, to improve my health as well right and uh, which which i'm doing currently which i'm really proud of also i'd say because i i've never eaten outside food maybe like for last uh, 100 days i don't know like till the lockdown is over uh, we managed through except for my son's birthday but uh, which i uh, i would say like uh, i would definitely prefer health over wealth because i can uh, if i manage my he- health i think uh, i would definitely manage my wealth as well so over to you tm shrikant thanks thank you thank you very much bharat so next speaker would be from the perambur toastmasters club toastmaster anand toastmaster anand can you hear me yes sir what are you doing i can hear you sir. can hear me please listen to me carefully India is on the verge of launching its own vaccine for coronavirus. They need human volunteers for the final testing. Will you accept to be a volunteer? If yes, why? And if no, why? I repeat the question. India is on the verge of launching its own vaccine for coronavirus. They need human volunteers for the final testing. Will you accept to be a volunteer? if yes why and if no the reason behind that over to you toastmaster anand happy evening toastmasters and guest see we all know that in this covid-19 situation we are virtually connecting with each other mainly due to lockdown and i would be definitely agree not only me all the toastmasters would be the first one to give their hands to take the injection or the first shot but i have a reason for it the reason is very simple as 
I did my clinical research from Apollo and Anna University. I know that any injection, if you need to be tested in human for the first time, the dose is just the five milligram. For an example, if you need a 50 milligram dose for getting cured of that particular disease, so there is a 0 0.1 to 0 0.5 mg of injection will be given to you. So that even it has been really good or bad, nothing will happen to the first volunteer who has been going for it. The main reason for this is in, I don't remember, decades ago in UK, when five healthy individuals was ready and came for volunteer themselves for an, another vaccine and for a former company, after taking the first shot, five healthy individuals whose age are between 25 to 30 collapse suddenly. The main reason is the vaccine has some other side effect which the drug company don't know. So the clinical research organization and the form of the vigilance team in the global has given a trial like a protocol that each and every individual who have been testing need to given the 0 0.1 to 0 0.2 milligram or 5 milligram of dosage of that particular dose. So nothing will happen, even the vaccine works or not works, nothing will happen. So anyone can take it that shot to a greater extent. So I'll be volunteering myself, take my belt, like how Madhavan says in Anbe Sivan, over to table topic master. Thank you, Toastmaster Anand. You made us all feel very proud of you. We are very happy that you would get that opportunity to be a volunteer, God willing. So the next speaker would be Toastmaster Nanda. Toastmaster Nanda, can you hear me? Uh, yes, TT Master, can you hear me? Here's your topic. Please listen carefully. Can you please share with us one important lesson this pandemic has taught you? I repeat. Can you please share with us one important lesson this pandemic has taught you? Over to you, Toastmaster Nanda. Thank you, Toastmaster Shrika. Good evening, Toastmasters and my dear guest. The one important lesson this pandemic taught me is the power of humility. Before this pandemic hit this entire globe, we all thought that human race is the most powerful race in the whole world. We thought that we are technologically advanced, we have all military hardware, we have all power, we have the most supreme race in the entire world. But a single virus, which we cannot see by a naked eye, but need an ultrasound microscope to see it, has in a matter of months changed everything. It has showed us the human species that nobody is, has the control, has the mastery for the world. Even a single single cell germ like a virus, if it decides, it can derail the entire global economy. It can derail everything we know. It can derail how we work, how we live, how we learn, how we have fun. So this shows, clearly shows us that we are the most equal race to compare to a small ant, a small virus. Whatever power or whatever control they have is what we have. We are no way superior to anyone and we are no way in control of the entire world. So in this time, the most important lesson I learned is the power of humility. You need to accept that there are things not in your control. You need to accept that the world is being shared by multiple species. You should respect them. You should think everyone around us, even a small plant, ant, animal, human being, our neighbors, our wives, our husbands, everyone, you should treat them with equal and be always happy to serve them as a humble servant. Never feel supreme, never think that you are the strongest man, you are superior to anyone. We are all equal. Even the single cell virus and the well-grown man have the same powers and the same equal rights to live on this entire world. This is one powerful lesson I thought would share with everyone. Thank you, both the TT Master. Thank you, Toastmaster Nanda. We are going to have our last speaker. Can we have Toastmaster Mithun? Toastmaster Mithun? Yeah, yeah, am I audible now? Right. Toastmaster Mithun, here is your topic. Do you pray, Toastmaster Mithun? Sorry? Pray, P R A Y. Yeah, okay. 
Okay. Pray. Yes or no? No. I don't pray. I don't pray. That's fine. No. So, you like joke? Do you like joke? Yeah. Yes. So what? You like joke? Yeah. So what is the funniest joke you know? Please share that with us. The funniest joke. Uh, the the funniest joke. What I mean? Uh, I don't have any favorite joke, but whatever joke what uh, about Mr. Vadi Velu does makes me laugh out loud. Not only me. He's one of the best comedians India has ever produced. No, you don't. He has proven that you don't need words to uh, to make people laugh. A simple, mere simple expression makes you laugh. I mean, laugh like anything. Just uh, look at this film in Pulikeshi. The way he has acted, a simple laugh like mm, it makes us laugh like anything. So, so, so I, I've, I've never see, come across any comedian in India who can make you simple, basic reaction. He can make you laugh. And and oh, if if, if you take uh, YouTube videos and all the trolls, mostly it is only because of this uh, Mr. Vadivel only. If there is no Vadivel, there is no Mimi trolls at all in Tamil. You, you any situation, take any situation. His his videos will suit aptly. Whatever video, be it recent the incidents or politi politics or whatever it is, exactly it will you will find a, a one of his comedies which will suit exactly to that situation. And also the other one, the uh, the other person that I like is uh, Mr. Vivek. Vivek may not be uh, no every you you cannot laugh at all the time his jokes, but. The first time you see it, it, it it's really it, I mean, you laugh like anything. So he, he also gives you messages. So there, I cannot say that there's one single laugh it, it, that makes me. Yeah, it's 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 that one person, Mr. Vadivelu. Just you don't have to. He doesn't have to speak. Just by seeing him, seeing him make my uh, face goes. I have a smile on my face. So you can even call him Mr. Uh, Charlie Chaplin of India. Uh, that's it. Over to you, Mr. Srikant. Thank you. Thank you, Toastmaster Mithun. Can we have Atul Kumar? Atul Kumar? Okay. I, I have, we have lost uh, contact with no, Atul Kumar. I am there. Sorry, I it took uh, time to me to unmute myself. I am there. Atul Kumar, are you available? Yeah, I am available. Can you hear me? So I've got great time for one speaker. So Atul Kumar will be our last. Thank, thank you. Here, here we go. They say, and I quote, there is beauty in simplicity. I repeat, there is beauty in simplicity. What does that really mean? Over to you, Toastmaster Atul Kumar. Thank you for giving me this opportunity to speak on simplicity. The word itself describes the whole story. Uh, being simple, thinking big, is the key to the success and the art of living for each and every individual. The way you uh, live the life, it is the, it, you have multiple options to live the life. You can be glorified, you can be simple, you can uh, decide to be fancy, anything you want, whatever you want. Being simple does not always mean to just look like an ordinary or being anything. Being simple means uh, that simple by the thought easy to approach, people may be able to connect you, people may be able to share you, people may be able to feel that you are approachable and connectable. They can connect you and share you. That is one way of being simple. The perceivance of simple in our mind is a person who looks, look like a very ordinary person, look like a very simple life. That is also one way. I don't say that is wrong. But being simple to every individual differs on the basis of the priority and the decision what they opt for. Moreover, when it comes to the success, uh, simplicity, I believe it is that being pers uh, persistent in your approach, being courageous to whatever you speak, there are the topic on the various topics, being courageous, what does it mean? Speaking out, doing the right things at the right time is also a way of simplicity. Uh, managing the time well is another aspect of being simple, doing the things on the right time, is also a way of being simple. 
respecting the others is also a way of being simple keeping your profile low is always also a way of being simple so that's the the my definition of being simple it is it is all about how well you can connect to the people and uh, how well people can be uh, open to accept you and share with you that's all my uh, uh, submission on being simple and being simplicity that's a mantra for success for me and over to you to master thank you thank you to master atul so before i wind up can i please request a timer to read the names of qualified table topic speakers yes uh, table topics master toast master reka toast master bharat toast master anand toast master nanda toast master nitul and toast master atul kumar so all the speakers are eligible for ot thank you thank you toast uh, thank you for the update and with this i really enjoyed being your host for the table topic session i hope you had a wonderful time being a participant and listening to the various topic and speakers over to the toastmaster of the day toastmaster geeta thank you very much thank you toastmaster shrikant for a wonderful table topic session of course we enjoyed the table topics the topics were really interesting and we enjoyed the speeches that the speakers gave us so that was really interesting it's now time for me to hand over the control to the general evaluator so that she can brief uh, she can come out with the evaluation session over to you toastmaster kritika thank you toastmaster geeta now we'll be moving on to our second set of my speech evaluators the first evaluator we have is toastmaster abirami she when i asked her what is the paradigm shift that she sees in her life she said that she had unknowingly uh, unknowingly been carrying a conditional filter in her head and when she realized that the labels that people had given as right and wrong are all man made she experienced a paradigm shift in the way she perceives the world over to you toast master abirami who is going to be evaluating toast master sharat speech over to you toast master abirami Toastmaster Abirami, are you there? Uh, maybe you can move on to the next evaluator and then come back if she is not available. Sure, ma'am. Um, our next, um, our second evaluator is Toastmaster Nagendra Bharti, who, when I asked him what was the paradigm shift that he is facing currently. he said that he has become more health conscious and does a lot of asanas in yoga so i welcome toast master nagendra bharti to evaluate toast master venu speech toast master nagendra bharti over to you thank you thank you general evaluator toast master kritika and my dear toast master venu nilakandan so first of all let me congratulate you toast master venu nilakandan for persuading me to accept your view points relating to the social media yes social media is taking us from our common instinct to basic instinct and how they are doing it you explained very nicely first of all when we started the speech with the questions relating to the human being and the animal it immediately draw our attention to the point to which you are leading to you are able to transition smoothly to the next point of social media application developer and explain how they are trapping into their fold and your examples were very well uh, illustrated attacking our left brain as well as our right right brain left brain is related to logical point and right brain is related to the emotional point yes your maslow's theory of need immediately attracted our left brain the logical part and then the examples relating to the search 
moving from communication to Nidhyananda, from Albert Einstein to Sunny Leon, this immediately attacked our right brain, the emotional part. So you were able to attack the left brain and right brain of the audience to bring their attention to the point where you are leading. And then your organization was very smooth. You were able to start with the question and then giving the examples and then how we are all uh, moving from a common instinct to basic instinct and then how we should come away from that. And then again you asked the same question, you thought of the same question and ended with a super answer, think and follow. So overall, these are all the commendation parts. Coming to the recommendation, I would like to say, I definitely agree that you are a very, very nice person. You don't want to force anybody to your view. But a little bit of force in your delivery would have made our mind not only to accept your view, but also to take action on that. And little bit of eye on the time keeper's card also would also help you. Overall, I enjoyed the session very well, but have you customized your speech with a little bit of more force? Would have made a paradigm shift in our mind, not only to accept your view, but also to take action on that. Thank you. Over to you, General Evaluator, Toastmaster. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Toastmaster Nagendra Bharti. Now I request Toastmaster Abhirami to deliver the evaluation report of Toastmaster Sharad. Over to you, Toastmaster Abhirami. Thank you, General Evaluator. Apologies, I had just stepped out. Sorry. Uh, very good evening, fellow Toastmasters and guests. And a very good evening to the uh, target speaker, Toastmaster Sharad. A perfect recipe during COVID-19 was indeed a relishing recipe for life. Toastmaster Sharath had beautifully crafted a story around the central principle of life. Life is 10% of what happens to us and 90% of how we react to it. I have totally two commendations and two recommendations for his speech. The first one, the opening was very strong. It was power packed with beetroot, eggs and rasam powder. The opening was strong enough to arouse curiosity as to what recipe is going to make with these ingredients and he completely grabbed audience attention with that. And secondly, the speech was very organized. There was a smooth transition from the introduction to the body to the conclusion, the way he started with all these recipes and into the actual flow of the uh, speech, the key message. And at the end, how he beautifully circled back to the introduction, talking about how the beetroot becomes hard when boiled and the egg and the, how the uh, rasam powder gives the flavor back to the uh, boiling water. So that we get circled back beautifully from the conclusion to the introduction that that's worth mentioning. And on the recommendation thesis, I have uh, two uh, recommendations. One would be, uh, it, it would have been uh, even more uh, good if you could have added a few points on how to manage the circle of control. And secondly, when he was explaining as to how his mother was feeling bad uh, when the milk was boiled and spilled out, he could have uh, emoted some, I mean, expressed some emotions which were like serious rather than smiling. Uh, that would have been uh, more apt for that piece of the speech. Overall, to summarize, it is a very entertaining speech. Looking forward to hear more of your speeches, Toastmaster Sharath. Thank you. Over to you, General Evaluator. Now, let us move on to the TAC team report. Now, I call upon Toastmaster Aishwarya, the grammarian of today's meeting deliver her report. Over to you, Toastmaster Aishwarya. Thank you, Toastmaster Pratika. Uh, let me screen share my report. Am I audible? Yes, you are audible, Toastmaster. Okay, all right, thank you. So I hope you can see the screen. And the word of the day, customization has been used only once by DK Meena John. And um, it's quite... I'm quite surprised that none of you all have used the word of the day customization. And uh, coming to the theme of the day has been used three plus times by Toastmaster Pratika, once by Toastmaster Geeta, once by Toastmaster uh, 
uh, sorry DTM Nina John Ma'am and once by Toastmaster Nagini Bharti. Coming to the good usages, there are quite a few good usages which I found out like conditional filters, throw the ball like a girl, taming a lion, curtail, elite and excited, just a puppet, concise and comprehensive, ubiquitous, hollow worship, playing captains, assert yourself and cocoon. Then there's persuading, relishing recipe and coming to the knock, so good usages and to like how can you correct them. Uh, a speaker has mentioned everyone started coughing. It can be uh, said as everyone started to cough. And food is tastier can be told as food is tasty. Going behind the money, it's it's actually a grammatical mistake. You should have uh, said like going behind money. And coming to the next grammatical error, which I found is explaining it nicely, but I've been told it's explained it really well or explained it well. So this is my uh, end of the report. Thank you and over to the G. Thank you, Toastmaster Aishwarya, for your detailed report. Now I call upon Toastmaster Jimmy to deliver his our counter report. Over to you, Toastmaster Jimmy. Thank you, uh, Toastmaster Kritika. So I don't have a screen to share. Uh, our counter report is a little desi type today, uh, but it will be customized. Uh, here goes. Uh, can we have a big round of applause for the following uh, speakers? Toastmaster Chandani, Toastmaster Kritika, Toastmaster Sharat, Toastmaster Venu, DTM Nina John, Toastmaster Nagendra Bharati, Toastmaster Anand, Toastmaster Nanda, and Toastmaster Ratul. I'm proud to say these speakers have not used any filler words or filler sounds. A big round of applause for them. Uh, going on to the detailed report, uh, Toastmaster Aishwarya has used one filler sound and a filler word. Toastmaster Bhuvaneshwari, uh, two filler sounds and one filler word. Toastmaster Gita, uh, Toastmaster of the day, uh, has used uh, three filler sounds and one filler word. Toastmaster Guruai Rappan, as the presiding officer, has used uh, three filler sounds and two filler words. Toastmaster Abhirami has used uh, three filler sounds. Toastmaster Srikant Kutikrishnan has used one filler word. Toastmaster Rekha, uh, three filler sounds and one filler word. Toastmaster Bharat Vijay, uh, three filler sounds and uh, three filler words. Toastmaster Midun, two filler sounds and two filler words. That concludes my report. Uh, over to you, uh, General Evaluator. Thank you, Toastmaster Jimmy. Now we have with us for today, Toastmaster Gautam. Please read out your full report. Postmaster Gautam. Yes. Thank you. Uh, good evening once again, dear Postmaster Suresh. And let me share my screen now. So, Postmaster Aishwari has uh, at arms to uh, 20 seconds. Toastmaster Bhuneshwari as a presiding officer took uh, 1 minute 28 seconds. Toastmaster Nadira uh, for ex starting the XCOM 11 minutes. Toastmaster Gita while introducing the team of the day took uh, 3 minutes 4 seconds. And Toastmaster Chandini conducted her word game for 7 minutes and 50 seconds. And Toastmaster Kritika during uh, the introduction took uh, 3 minutes and 53 seconds. And coming to these prepared speakers, uh, Toastmaster Sarat time allotted was 5 to 7 minutes and he took 6 minutes and 50 seconds and Toastmaster Venu, uh, the time allotted was 5 minutes and 7 minutes, 5 to 7 minutes and he took 9 minutes and 5 seconds. And uh, distinguished Toastmaster Nina John for her uh, education uh, session, the allotted time was 20 minutes and she took uh, 22 minutes and uh, 10 seconds. Now coming to the table talks uh, and today, uh, all the TT speakers are eligible for voting and kudos for all the speakers. Toastmaster and the time allotted was two, 1 to 2 minutes. Toastmaster Rekha took uh, 2 minutes 10 seconds. Toastmaster Bharat took uh, 1 minute 43 seconds. Toastmaster Anand took uh, 2 minutes 15 seconds. Toastmaster Nanda took 1 minute 47 seconds. Toastmaster Mithun 
took a 1 minute 28 seconds first master atul kumar took 1 minute and 58 seconds now coming to the evaluation part uh, first master abirami took a 3 minute and 15 seconds uh, sorry first master nagendra bardi took 3 minute and 15 seconds first master abirami took 1 minute 48 seconds and uh, first master aishwarya for reporting her uh, Grammarian report took uh, 1 minute and 1 second. Postmaster Jimmy took 1 minute and 15 seconds. That's all. Thank you. What do you see? Thank you, Toastmaster Gautam, for your detailed report. Now it's time for me to present my detailed report. All the role players entered the meeting well ahead of time. The meeting began on time. The Toastmaster of the day explained the team wonderfully well and spoke about the different sexisms that exist in our in our country and in our world and how we how everything begins at home the game session conducted by toastmaster chandni was creative fun and engaging the speakers fulfilled their project objectives as stated by the evaluators the educational session conducted by dtm meena john on why toastmasters during lockdown was very well placed and very needed currently we then have our uh, TT Master Toastmaster Srikanth who delivered topics rightly to the guests and to the Toastmasters depending on their, on their um, ability and uh, also did a fantastic job on choosing easier topics. We then have the evaluators who performed to the best of their abilities. The TAP team report was delivered with utmost sincerity. I now, with this, I hand over the control to the Toastmaster of the day, Toastmaster Geeta. Just before that, I have something to tell you. Now they'll be launching the polls for the respective tag team, TD speakers, and the best role player. Please vote for the best of the best. Thank you. Over to you, Toastmaster Geeta. Thank you, Toastmaster Kritika. So I give you all a few seconds so that you can vote for the best TT speaker. The poll is right across. It's now time for me to hand over the control to the presiding officer. Before that, a few words of conclusion from me. Friends, sexism is harmful. And it impacts both men and women negatively. It brings about a sense of feeling of worthlessness in women. And it negatively impacts the perception of a man. So... My question to you all is, is it possible for us to shape our sons into men who respect women and treat them as equals? I, yes, we can. Is it possible for us to instill in our daughters the confidence, resolve, and resilience to thrive in this culture which is going to incessantly bring them down all the time. Is it possible? Yes, it is. Is it possible for us to bring our children to breathe in a society, society's misogynist air, but they don't succumb to it? Is it possible? Yes, possible. Yes, so all of you have said, yes, it is possible. I totally agree with you all. It is possible. How? If we parents push a stronger message than what our culture does. So the best way is to take small steps, one step at a time, and let us begin from our homes. Making a change in what we think and speak can influence the way we feel and behave. And it can influence our feelings towards sexism. How about bringing this paradigm shift within ourselves? Over to you, presiding officer. Thank you. Thank you, Gita. Thank you. 
today at all we come to a end of a wonderful meeting now let us have some feedback from the guest guest we have few guests today so can you have some feedback from the guest anand from coimbatore hello anand yeah it's been uh, whether you are asking me so yeah uh, feedback about yeah, today's yeah. meeting thank you sir uh, it was it was always good to revisit my home club uh, ctm long back uh, and uh, this virtual platform has connected us and main reason is uh, nina jan ma'am session was uh, very nice and uh, it was fabulous to good to see uh, uh, you as well as sir uh, we connected long back for uh, five years back and uh, it was a fabulous uh, session overall uh, especially the tmod and uh, all the speakers have been too good and lot of insight for us and uh, i'll be taking this and uh, try to implement in my own club currently thank you sir i enjoyed the session to a great extent okay thank you today's meeting we had a excellent session by word game by chandni so kudos to chandni thank you chandni for the excellent session and also thank you our sincere thanks to dtm neena ma'am for a wonderful session on white postmasters during this lockdown and also wonderful table topic session by srikant kutikrishnan just one second now we got the results now we have best role player for the day is to toastmaster geeta please give her a big round of applause best evaluator is toastmaster abirami best table topic speaker is toastmaster nanda best thank you miss toastmaster aishwarya and since we have only one speaker toastmaster sharat is the best speaker so with this we come to the end of the meeting of 734 i adjourn the meeting to next week meeting number 735 thank you let's have informal meeting time Okay this is Rekha can i add something yes